Man, what's good, bro? So, I'm looking at these videos and shit, right? We looking at big homies, OGs and shit from the land. Talking about, that. yeah, that was payback for Nipsey Hussle. Yada, 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 all this other good shit. It really baffles me because I don't even know. Do y'all niggas do y'all niggas really believe that? For the OG that's on YouTube or on some type of platform in front of a camera saying that shit. Like, do y'all really believe that? And some of y'all crip niggas that's OGs from the land that's saying this shit, not even from 60s. So again, like, do y'all really believe that Indian boy? Hold up. I'm gonna I'm call him by his government name. You really believe that Zarel? Zarell got killed by 60s over some shit that Baby Capone did. Y'all really believe that? Look, bro. I'm going to tell you what happened. No, before I even say all that shit, right? Look. That shit just ridiculous, bro. He got killed on Chadron Ave. That's in Hawthorne. Another thing, too. I saw a blogger, and this nigga got like... This nigga got like 80K and over a thousand some comments and niggas is talking about, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, first and foremost, Hawthorne, Hawthorne is not an avenue. Hawthorne is not a block. He got killed in Hawthorne on Chadron Avenue. Okay. First and foremost. Okay. So that nigga, he don't know shit what he's talking about. All right. Second, Zarell used to be Hollywood Pyro, okay? Used to be Hollywood Pyro. What happened was, him and this nigga was both fucking on the same female. It was no secret. She was a Tatiana. She gets around. They pass her around. And his homeboy even talks him to bitch. Hey, you nigga, go ahead, fuck on the hook. It was said by that female... That Zarell was talking real greasy about his partner. Basically pillow talking. Basically just pillow talking. Okay. The female went and told Zarell partner. They say, man, blood saying this and that third about you. So that's when that's when homie went and approached Zarell and told Zarell, hey, nigga, what's up with all this other shit that I've been hearing? You pillow talking with this bitch or something? You in your feelings or something, my nigga? They end up getting into it. Boom, they end up getting into a fight. They got into a fight right there. In front of the homies, right there in the hood. Zarell ended up getting his ass beat up. His partner put feet, nails, and elbows on that boy. All right? Whenever two homies is fighting and the other homies is present, they only going to allow the fight to go so far. But in this situation, they didn't. Because they know that Zarell is tender dick when it comes down to these females. They know it. Nigga, you deserve that little ass whooping that you finna get, that you getting right now, my nigga. So... Zarell pilot did not, did not get off of Zarell. Okay, for those who might be lost, I'm talking about India, India boy. Zarell is India boy. Zarell, that's his government name. All right, so whenever his partner got, got through whooping his ass, the nigga felt some type of way, not only about the ass whooping and how it occurred, but the fact that the homies, the homeboy did not intervene whenever the shit took place. You feel what I'm saying? So that's when he said, fuck y'all niggas and went to Inglewood. Now, if you're asking yourself, why, how, how could this nigga go from one hood to Inglewood like that? Okay, first and foremost, when he was in middle school, he went to school with a lot of them niggas. He been knowing Baby Capone and all them niggas from Inglewood. He been knowing them niggas. So whenever Hollywood did what they did to the nigga, it wasn't shit for him to go to Inglewood. Be like, hey, say, nigga, I'm repping this now. You know what I'm saying? They put the nigga behind the building. He got his little fade in. And boom, now you hood. All right? He wasn't even Inglewood that long. And then when he went over there, the nigga started dissing Hollywood. Like, come on, bro. Like, your problem was personal with one nigga behind a female. Your problem was personal behind a nigga with a female. Why are you dissing the hood? So, nigga, you had that coming. You had that coming. And the crazy part about it was, right, when this nigga went to Hawthorne, Chadron Avenue, he was pulling up on the same female that he was pillow talking with. The same female that went and told Zarell partner the shit that Zarell was saying about him. He went up and pulled up on the same female. I'm not saying that she set him up. Y'all can put two and two together and come up with four. 
Y'all can. But 60s did not have nothing to do with this man getting killed. 60s had nothing to do with this man getting killed, bro. And look at it like this. Here. Whenever that man did get killed, on no platform did you ever see, no Instagram did you, did you ever see or find a 60 claiming that body. 60s never put that body on, on, on their hood. But everybody outside of them talking about, oh, yeah, 60s did that shit because they don't know the backstory on what the shit that's really going on. You know what I'm talking about? But I can tell you this, though. Whenever that nigga did get killed, the first hood outside of Inglewood that did respond and made a statement on that shit was Hollywood Power Roots. Was them niggas. And them niggas was laughing and parlaying and some more shit. 60s ain't kill that boy over no mural that Baby Capone did. Nah, 60s ain't do that. It was Hollywood Pot Root, bro, like on everything, bro. Like, real talk.